Hello, my sisters and brothers. God bless all of you. I hope everyone is doing well. So um, just a couple visions I had recently. Um, a friend of mine, a sister of mine, sent me this 444 Prophecy News article. I'm just going to read it real quick. It says, the time has come for all of my children to move into their calling. I am now moving many of you who have been tied to unbelieving spouses into your callings. You are feeling these changes already. Do not be afraid when I do this or when I harden their hearts against you, but rejoice for your time has come. I have told you that unions not of me cannot withstand what is coming. Unbelieving spouses will become your enemies in what is coming, my children, and will quickly turn you over to authorities for your beliefs in a time when the price for declaring my name will be death by torture. Do not fear only believe, for I am well able to provide all you need. Step into your calling and keep your eyes on me. And then it says, Be you not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? So I found this to be very interesting because I am kind of in that situation right now with my husband. I always felt like it was more like an arrangement than a marriage and we got together for all the wrong re reason and we don't have the same beliefs or passion about the Lord. And I used to always ask myself, like, what is going to happen in, in regards to this? Because, you know, I always felt so bad because I didn't have anybody to pray with. You know, like I see people who are married and their husband and they they pray together and they worship together and they do everything they're in harmony and that's not the case with me and I always wondered what you know that was all about and if there's anybody else who's in the same situation where their husband is not on the same page I just feel like um, you know the enemy probably brought them into our lives as a form of distraction and because I always see a lot of women who are really heavily into the Lord and their husband is like never on the same page. And I always used to wonder about this. And, you know, I tried to, you know, get him on board, my husband and everything, but he's just not passionate about it at all. And he's still basically living his own life. So I just found this article very interesting. So I went into prayer about it almost immediately. And within minutes while I was in prayer, I saw an egg and then it cracked open and I grabbed the yolk from inside and then that was it and so you know I immediately put the verse in with that do not be un, um, unequally yoked together with unbelievers and I feel like what he's doing with the elect and those that he have chosen is um, whoever is unequally yoked with a spouse he's gonna pull them out during this time and I'm not saying divorce or anything like that but like some form of a separation I don't know exactly how that's gonna work out but um, I would just go into prayer about this because um, I've always wondered and asked and I feel like he gave me an answer and I used to always have dreams about you know seeing destruction and everything and me and my husband would always split up we would never ever be together in my dream so um, just pray about that, take it to prayer, and ask the Lord, um, you know, just to confirm it with you. And also, I got so many flashes in my, uh, while I was asleep the other night, so many numbers, I think like five of them. And this was one of them, Precious or Ignit, which is like gold. And after I received this, gold, after I received this, I saw fire twice it was just like a um just burning fire basically and it reminded me of a bible verse that i talked about before in one of my videos it says this third zechariah 13 9 this third i will put into the fire i will refine them like silver and and test them like gold so i know a lot of people have been test severely especially it seemed like this past month it's been really really uh challenging the enemy has been relentless and very much so uh persecute and especially in dreams um giving false dreams visions and um you know a lot of sexual immorality in your dreams and just all types of things that are 
uh, not of the Lord, just to like psych you out and make you believe that you are not who the Lord says you are and to bring doubt and to make you lose faith. It's just been a lot of persecution like that. And, um, you know, he gave me this um, word. It was, I think, yeah, it was yesterday. I'm sorry. And it said to set up to set up fire, to refine. That's what I heard in my spirit. And I immediately went to that verse. Um, this third I will put into the fire. I will refine them like silver and test them like gold. So um, I guess we're still in that process. Or maybe it's coming to a close. Or maybe it's completed. I don't know. But I saw fire twice after I got the message about the gold. Um so the last thing that I saw was the mark of the beast and this was very quick it was a quick flash so what I saw was I saw a hand and you know the scanners that they use in the supermarkets to um, like if you have water underneath your cart and they can't reach any they, they use the scanner so I saw somebody's hand and they took the scanner and they pulled the um, the trigger or the button and when they clicked on it I saw 666 in red uh, flash up on the right hand so they took the scanning gun they scanned the hand and the 666 just popped up in the air like in midair in red so um, I know everybody already should be fully aware that the chips are the mark of the beast and to receive it on your forehead or on your right hand in the dream I saw it on the right hand um, so that is basically it I've had a couple more dreams about um, seeing the flowers blossom I've actually saw people jump this was like a flash not a dream or a vision just while I was praying I saw a soccer ball go up in the air and a pool and I saw like flowers blossoming. Um, I personally think that has to do with the rapture. Um, this is not the first time that I saw that. So um, that is basically it, you guys. Take everything that I said to the Lord and get confirmation. Um, but I wanted to share that with you guys. I hope you all are encouraged and I will talk to you soon. God bless you.